About the turn of the century, the French mathematician Marie Camille Jardin stated, a simple closed curve in the plane divides the plane into exactly two domains. If we ask a young child to copy these forms, he is apt to produce a series of related blobs. And when he does, he is unconsciously recognizing the fundamental similarity between these shapes. Each one divides the paper into an inside part and an outside part. A point that lies in one area cannot get to the other, no matter how the curve is stretched. It is a simple closed curve, which means that it does not cross itself and it ends at its beginning point. If it follows these rules, it will behave the same regardless of how it is distorted. Proof of the Jordan Curve Theorem The Jordan Curve Theorem states that a non-self-intersecting continuous loop in the plane, i.e. a Jordan Curve, divides the plane into an interior region and an exterior region. These are Jordan Curves, these are not Jordan Curves. We shall use proof by fucking obviousness. It's a closed loop. Of course there's going to be an outside and inside. Humans have been making borders and fences for millennia, and this still needs to be proven? What am I supposed to say? It's so bloody obvious. It's like trying to prove 1 plus 1 equals 2. Why is this even a theorem? Not even worth to be a lemma or corollary, to be honest. This trivial ass bitch. And thus concludes the proof of the theorem.